If you've taken a menthol cough drop, you probably noticed a minty flavor and a cool numbing sensation in the back of your throat. That feeling is similar to the one you get from smoking bees, menthol cigarettes. And it's part of why the Biden administration is trying to prevent them from being sold. Health officials say that menthol cigarettes are more appealing to young people because the menthol eases the throat irritation that you experience when you first try a cigarette. Aside from regular tobacco, menthols are currently the only flavor of cigarette allowed on the market. And they're popular. 43% of smokers in the U.S. used menthols in 2020. Here's why the FDA wants to ban them from being sold and distributed in the U.S. And why the move is being opposed by some Black community leaders. Menthol, a compound that occurs naturally in mint plants, triggers the same receptors we use to sense cold, which creates that numb, chilling sensation. Menthol brands like Newport, the most popular menthol in the U.S., emphasize the flavor in their older marketing. Smoother Newport, fresher Newport, smoother, more refreshing cigarette. But the FDA says that in addition to reducing the harshness of smoking, menthol also makes it harder to quit. Menthol interacts with nicotine in the brain to enhance nicotine's addictive effects, according to the FDA, making menthol cigarettes even more addictive than regular cigarettes. So they start kids younger and then they keep them hooked for a lifetime, U.S. officials say. The biggest U.S. tobacco companies have rejected the FDA's findings. They say that menthol cigarettes don't have any different health effect than a regular cigarette. Despite this, the FDA got White House support to move forward on the ban last year as part of the Biden administration's Cancer Moonshot Initiative, which aims to reduce the cancer death rate by at least 50 percent over the next 25 years. The rules announced today would enforce regulations related to what stores sell and what companies manufacture and distribute. A recent study projected that a ban on menthol cigarettes would prompt an estimated 1.3 million U.S. smokers to quit. The FDA says that menthol smoking disproportionately impacts youth and young adults. In 2019, researchers estimated that more than 1 million U.S. middle and high school students had smoked a cigarette in the last month. Of those, about 47% reported smoking a menthol. The flavor is also popular among Black smokers. For decades, cigarette companies have marketed menthol brands like Newport, Cool, and Salem to Black people, distributing free packs in Black neighborhoods and running magazine and billboard ads depicting carefree Black smokers. Black smokers are more likely to use menthols. They also die at higher rates of smoking-related cancers than other groups, according to the CDC. And U.S. health officials say the ban would help address those disparities. The NAACP has been in support of the ban, saying that the targeting and marketing of menthol flavoring by the tobacco industry have had a devastating impact on our community. But others think the ban could present problems. Reynolds American, which makes Newport, has given money to prominent Black community leaders who have opposed the ban like Reverend Al Sharpton and civil rights attorney Ben Crump. Crump says he's accepted money from Reynolds for things like scholarships for Black youth, but the money has not influenced his opinion. Sharpton did not reply to request for comment. They and groups like the ACLU and members of the Congressional Black Caucus have expressed concerns that the ban will disproportionately impact people of color. They have argued that menthol bans would lead to racial profiling by police and expand the illicit market for cigarettes. In a statement to the Wall Street Journal, Reynolds said it's important to note that we do not make contributions conditional upon organizations maintaining a particular position. The Biden administration has said that enforcement of a ban would target manufacturers and sellers. This is not about going after individuals smoking menthol cigarettes. This is about manufacturers and people who are selling them. Tobacco companies could lose significant profits if the ban is enforced. They already um, have been grappling with declining smoking rates in the U.S., and they are racing to develop and market alternative products like e-cigarettes, uh, nicotine pouches, lozenges, um, and other alternatives um, in the hopes that smokers will switch over to those. Even as smoking declines, menthols remain a huge part of the cigarette market. They account for about a third of all cigarettes sold in the U.S. British American Tobacco, which makes Reynolds American, and Altria, which makes Marlboro, are the top menthol makers in the U.S. Menthol makes up roughly 30% of British American Tobacco's global profits. Altria said in a statement that it believes harm reduction, not prohibition, is the better path forward. 
Reynolds and Altria have hinted that they may sue if the ban goes into effect. Litigation could tie this up for years. So even if the FDA moved forward and set um, an effective date of, you know, let's say 2024, once that ban were implemented, then the cigarette companies would likely sue and hold it up further. The FDA will hear public comments on its proposed rules and will take time to review before finalizing the ban.